video. Uh, hey everybody, this is Tyler McVicker here. How are you guys doing today? Uh, Face it, the competitive uh, platform has just released uh, Team Fortress 2 12v12 casual matchmaking into beta, early beta. Uh, and I was given early access into it. And we are going to be trying it out today for the first time. I um, was told by the lead guy from Face It that I need to um, make sure my Twitch is connected to my Face It so that I'm also featured on their website. I should probably do that. Integration settings, connect Twitch, authorize. All right, there you go. Never mind. All right, so, hi, everybody. Tyler McVicker here. Face It has uh, released this uh, casual 12v12 matchmaking service for Team Fortress 2. It's supposed to be a way to be able to um, experience normal casual matches on Team Fortress 2 without the massive problems that have been plaguing Team Fortress 2 over the last couple of years. Uh, and they actually released a uh, really neat little Source Filmmaker short Uh, explaining everything that they're trying to do with this. So we're going to watch this little SFM that they did and uh, see what y'all think. Whoever rendered this out rendered the frames weird. <clears throat> Imagine if Valve did something like that. Yeah, so, um, Face It has their own 12v12 matchmaking system now. And we are going to be trying it out. They just put it out into uh, beta. It's a closed beta. But I have uh, a link that allows me to get 10 people into it. So, there. Yes. Let's go. For it's first come, first serve. Ten people to click that link, get into this beta, and can play with me. Let's go! Chris, 06110611. 14 months, five months streak with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for that. Remember, Twitch Prime is free if you have Amazon Prime. Um, so let me change my settings here. So let's get into it. This might take... 
a while. Let's play as solo. Finding match. Yeah, so there's 15 players queuing right now. Oh. Wow, that was quick. All right. So it works just like Face It. You know, I'm sure everybody has used Face It at least a little bit in the past. They used to have TF2 6s. Um, so, all right, so now we're in. Uh, yeah, drop two for it. Why do I have a, a crown? What does the crown mean? Okay, so I get to drop. We're gonna drop turbine. If someone drops harvest, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip. I'm captain. Why? Team Valve News Net. Team, we're gonna drop Dust Bowl. <laughs> Fine, we're dropping bad water. I'm gonna make you play upward then. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to upward. I'm apparently team captain, because I'm Valve News Network, I guess, or was. All right, Ancient Gods Part 2 trailer just got leaked. No, it did not. The teaser got leaked. It's 15 seconds long, and it tells us that the actual ta trailer will be out uh, this Wednesday, so. All right, I'm going to play this guy. Here. All right, we're in warm-up. Volume's a bit too loud. You deserve a medal, Doc! What the hell? The team names are fucked. Wow, I've never played TF2. Me neither. That's a, that's a spy. Wait, can you not kill when you're in warm pop? No, it's gonna be sweaty. Oh, I, you can. Okay, this it's gonna be sweaty. Not only is it face it, but it's a face it beta. Ah! Well, now I deserve to die! Where the hell is my health? What team am I on? There's my health. What's up with that, that bit up there? What's going on? Why does the HUD look so fucked? Do they really not support custom HUDs? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Can we get some 30 seconds of chat, boys? And you may ask yourself, how do I work? The only an an Anik fan ever for 36 months, Jesus Christ. Is this Fortnite 2? Fortnite wishes. Wait, this isn't Doom. Yeah, I know, I know I'm a Doom channel, but we're trying this out. 12v12. Hey, it's me, Martin Lawrence fan. Hi, Martin Lawrence fan, it's me, Tyler. Yay, mission begins in 60 seconds. You're all right, Doc.
You're all right, Doc. How many players are there usually? I don't know. 12, 8, 6, 15, 38. Looks like a bootleg version. Looks like what? Like a bootleg what? Bootleg, huh? Bootleg. This server is stationed in Dallas, like at 60 ping. Oh, game followers here. Hi! Be able to fit fake to make some. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Mission begins in how long? Five, four, three, two. Only EU and US servers right now? I don't know. Ask them. This isn't my thing. I'm just I'm testing it. I'm not good at this game. Game name? Uh, Quake? It's something Quake, I don't know. that plays, that talks about like all of the different Team Fortress mods for earlier games before TF2 came out. Like Fortress Forever and stuff like that. Tyler doesn't look at chat? No, that's right, I don't. Uh, it's still too loud. Let's put on better music for this. I wish Hugo Mark was my dad. Mm. Mm. I wish he was my dad. Had a really interesting conversation yesterday, guys. Uh, you may be interested in knowing what it was, who it was with, what was it about. But I'm not allowed to... I'm not allowed to talk about it yet. But I had a really interesting conversation yesterday, guys. your mother? Yep, it was with your mother. What's it like being not American? Is it good? I always imagine that it's good. No? It sucks? It's still too loud. I'm in One Piece? You live in the One Piece universe? How are you communicating with me? <clears throat> we'll climb aboard. You think we actually have freedom of speech here, dude? That's, that's silly. Free healthcare, free healthcare. So, what does that HUD up there mean? One point. Oh, that's because they have one point in two minutes and 13 seconds? This is a competitive HUD, and I'm not very used to face its competitive stuff. 
Drink water. No. You have wasted your points. You have wasted your points. You have wasted your points. Uh, uh, uh. to be as sweaty as possible. Maybe don't focus on the guy that far up and focus on the fucking cart guy. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm pretty sure what they mean by censorship in Germany is you can't talk about Nazis. What? Yo. Gabagoo. Gabagoo. I don't know what they mean by censorship in Germany. What the hell do you mean by that? Multi-kill. Look at this gun. Isn't this a nice gun? Don't you wish you had this gun? Ah, fuck. How are you, Tyler? I'm all right, how are you? How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. We have a lot of scouts on this team. Like, a lot of scouts on this team. <laughs> no offense, but as a European, I would not want to live in America. No offense, but as an America, as an American, I wouldn't want to live in America. Uh, at least I'm getting that $1,400 stimmy. Apparently, the cost of living over the course of a year in America is um, $3,000. It only costs $3,000 to live well in America. Duh. Over a year. At least your healthcare is not called sus. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. I'm planning on writing a story and I've received Laidlaw's approval for the use of the word desperate. Disparate. He gave me his blessing to make something to make the world a better place. It says Crimson Quad Zero. Is this just Coffee Joe? But in a different name? This sounds like something Joe would say. Joe's the one that was like, yeah, it was my original idea for Pokemon, and I came up with Russell, and... Why would you have to ask Mark Laidlaw permission for use of a word? Let's try something else. <laughs> Epistle 3? Huh? Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Uh, 
this. <sighs> Tyler, you mentioned you wanted to write a book about the behind-the-scenes stuff at Valve. How would you publish it without getting in trouble? I couldn't. It would have to be self-published. Ah, right in the dick. Fucking ass. You know, the reason why I'm playing so bad is because I'm not using an original. <clears throat> Switching sides. Hi, Moonly. I gotta beat their time! Is there any chance you could make my Martin Lawrence question a staple for all your interviews? Absolutely fucking not. See you know how weird it would be to have an interview about video games and you sign up for it, it's like all the hoops you gotta jump through and then all of a sudden you're like, so... Do you know what Martin Lawrence is up to? What do you think about? Face it! I don't know, what do you think? It's it's TF2. It's it's just it's just TF2 but more. Do you like TF2? I like TF2. Let's face it, guys. TF2 is old. Let's face it, guys, TF2 is really fucking old. Tyler, what's TF2? It's this game that came out the same year that Bioshock 1 came out. What's Bioshock 1? It's, it's this game that came out the same year <clears throat> uh, that Super Mario Galaxy came out. When TF2 came out, the Wii was a year old. But no, right, Valve needs to be making more updates for it. Also, Nintendo needs to be making more updates for the Wii. When's the next Wii game, Nintendo? When's the next PS3 game? Why is it Nintendo releasing the new Zelda games on the Wii? On the 20th anniversary of Team Fortress 2, 12 year olds will still be screaming. But no, oh, it's dead! Heavy update! Why isn't Bungie updating Halo 3? Jesus, where is my next Halo 3 major content update? And then there's really no response to it. There's like no good argument against that argument other than people just getting mad. Like it's not the same. It is, though. Why is that not the same? <laughs> technically, Halo 3 did receive some new maps for the Master Chief Collection. Yeah, and technically, Team Fortress 2 did receive some new maps every year since release. <laughs> TF2 did receive new maps back in December, and it's not enough. How old is Dota 2? 2013. 
Uh, eight years. Eight years into TF2's life was... What, 2018? Jungle Inferno. Wait, no. 2015. Tough break. Gunmetal. You were still getting updates eight years in. Ba da da da. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 I would like to see a legitimately good argument against the whole. Look, it's from 2007. Do you really think Valve needs to be still like working like hardcore on the game? Like, do you know what else was from 2007? The Bush administration. <laughs> the Wii. Halo 3. Quake Wars. Enemy territory. It's literally just, I want it, and that's fine. I'm down. Are you down? I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Radarx TW. Thank you for the eight months on Twitch Prime. Remember, Twitch Prime is free. Now, okay. The argument for, well, Valve should be utilizing the IP, completely agree. Completely agree. But the ar that's not the same argument. Right? I'm talking about the people that are like heavy update when. Where's my. Okay, but TF2. Every time Valve does anything, you know? Simple flips! Eddie, what's up? Eddie, can we do uh, my podcast together, bro? I just want the bot squad? That's fine. That's fine. It's just the people that are like, there needs to be another Jungle Inferno, you know? If you're just like, look, I want to be able to play the game, completely fine. That's, that's very understandable. It's the people that like, no matter what Valve does, you, you go down into the Twitter comments and it's always like, yeah, but TF2? Heavy update? That's shit, or that's what I'm talking. Like, no, uh, no, you're not going to get it. It depends on the topics and stuff, Tyler, personally. All right. I'm not comfortable talking about some things, haha. Uh -huh. All right. I know you're not comfortable talking about, like, personal life stuff, which is fine. But we could talk about, like, being a content creator and video games. God fucking damn it. Do you want to see what it looks like when a person sucks at this game? I don't mind personal questions, but I do mind some personal questions. Alright, well, if we have, like, a, a meeting about it beforehand, I feel like it could be really fun just to, like, hang out and talk on a podcast format. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Hell yeah. How have you been, Eddie? How's, um... How's being back on Twitch treating you? Hell yeah. Oh, you just woke up? What time is it for you? Damn, you wake up early. Even though you're back on Twitch, are you still gonna be doing, like, walkies and uncleared levels and stuff? Because, like, I hope that being back on Twitch doesn't cease that shit from happening. Music loud? Sorry. Because I, I need my walkies. Alright, dope. Yesterday's episode was fucking great. <laughs> However, I don't think you're ever going to hit S rank. I love you, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. <laughs> you think you will? Okay, good. Well, I mean, you need to have, you need to have that. 
No, it will. Yeah, it'll be like one episode. You win like 12 times and then it's over. Yeah, completely agree. And that'll be a nuts episode. Yeah. But then from that point forward, are you done? Like, is walkies over or do you like set a new goal? By the way, in case you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, Simple Flips is a YouTuber and Twitch streamer. Um, check him out. He's like one of my favorite content creators and also a good friend of mine. He's a much better Twitch streamer than I am. Is he a better content creator? No, I think we're about the same, but he's a much better Twitch streamer than I am. We'll probably do something else in the point. Well, you were, you were doing that, like, no hard drop, like, Tetris 99 thing. That would have been, that would be cool. Anything like that where, like, you impose really difficult rules on yourself, you know? And then you try and hit, like, top score. Vic had a good idea where I reach S rank, but I have to collect every coin I see. Jesus Christ, that sounds way harder. <laughs> That's me. Tyler, switch class, please. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, something in Mario... Like, it doesn't even need to be Mario Maker. Imagine trying to become, like, Global Elite, but you can only use pistols, right? Or something like that. Uh, you would get banned, though. People would be so pissed. You would have to have, like, a dedicated team that's used to your bullshit to play with you. Are there guns in Mario Maker? No, but Simp plays a lot of Counter-Strike. You would hear a lot of hurtful, mean, probably racist things before you hit gullible. No, I know, but like, what if you only played with, like, friends? But Mar- like, I don't know. Do you have, like, a whole comp team that, that's on the server all the time? Like, I don't think Marcus plays Counter-Strike, does he? See, don't make me captain. Also, I'm trying to stream, you know? Oh, that exits your game, damn. Okay, so, match one. Match one, got nine points. I am unremarkable, yeah, I know. So how does this work? All right, let's play again. Uh, excuse me. So, um, no, it's just in beta. It just came out into beta today, and I was given early access, yeah. <laughs> Mark's only there to post cringe sometime. Oh, the Discord is mostly CS players? Oh, okay. You would want to find a bunch of people near the West Coast, though. Let's go! No, yeah, um, it's funny because... I'm in that server, and I don't play comp, like, at all. Wait, am I captain again? Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll obviously drop two for it. When's it gonna be public? That's the question for them. You never play West Coast games? Oh, sh sh what is your ping in comp, then? Fuck that. Alright, we're dropping Dust Bowl. Man, let's play Harvest. Let's play Harvest. You got you got Valve Newsman here. Let's play Harvest. No. Man, we're only ever going to play Upward or Badwater. Fuck that. Damn. East Coast is 90 to 100. EU is like 180. What's your rank? I mean, do you play official comp or do you play more on Face It?
They only play Mirage or Inferno on CS Face It. Fuck. Matchmaking is GN3. New to face it. Sub Tyler just popping in while my SFM project render. What are you making on SFM, bro? Face it, vid? Oh, fuck. Cool. Hell yeah. I'm trying not to swear as much. Electra's been, been bugging me to, to not swear. And I, I agree with her. Server not responding. Uh, there you go. I actually think something like 80% of my non face it games have at least one cheater in it, Lamel. I mean, that's the point, you know. This face it thing is to replace TF Casual stuff because TF Casual is, is absolutely impossible to enjoy. It makes you badass? Well, saying piss is one thing. P and piss is funny to, to me. Like, I know it's not funny to you. I do it for me. And also, I think it's funny for people to think like, oh, Tyler's into P. I'm not, but I think it's funny. I don't know. I'm five. You definitely are. I'm not, though. I'm into boobs. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not here to king shame. No, I know. Simp, I know you're not a king shamer. No, no, no. I would never think that you were a hateful person ever. I'm into boobs. I'm into nuns. Uh, what else do I like? I'm into, uh... I'm into some stuff that I think would probably get me TOS if I even mention it, so... I'm not a buck guy. Nah, I'm not a buck guy. Nah. You like talking? If, if you mean what I think you mean, then absolutely me too. Yeah. I'm into girls. Yeah. It's this weird kink of mine. I'm into, I'm into the, I'm into vaginas. <laughs> I'm into, I'm into functional vaginas that can produce offspring. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> this guy is fuck. That's hilarious. Oh fuck. He's right about TOS. Holy shit. Damn, I am going to get a message from my partner support tomorrow. You talk about PP? You talk about the female genitalia one more time, you're losing your partnership. Fuck off. Uh, I have joined to zero context. We're talking, uh, me and Simple Flips here are talking about specifically just my kinks. And I have, I have admitted to be uh, having a kink for functioning vaginas that can produce offspring and yeah. And talking. No, for real though, like if you like casually have a conversation during sex though, holy shit. That's my favorite thing. That is my absolute favorite thing. That's such a weird, I don't know if that's weird or not, but I just fucking love that. Like Electra and I sometimes talk about anime. I'm living the dream. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Love it. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Isn't it? I had you until anime. Well, she's a weeb, right? If it's me, I'm gonna talk about, like, a book I was reading or a game I was playing or something. <laughs> to get debate while a hot dog is a sandwich while not, while, or not while spooning. Does she watch many animes? Uh, her goal in life is to watch every anime. She's almost always watching one. Almost always. She's seen thousands. You talk about anime while getting busy? She does. If it were up to me, I'd talk about video games. But yeah, we like to talk. We've been together for a decade. You, you just kind of develop stuff like that. You know? <laughs> Wobble! Wobble! 
Womble TC just said Tyler reads out an entire video script <laughs> having sex with Tyler. So recently, <laughs> Tyler's penis is working fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Womble's VIP. We're VIP in him today. Womble, you're the VIP for today. You're VIP. Alright, let's actually focus on the game because I'm sure I'm not doing well. S Sim, you always do that. Like, the guy. Who was the guy that. Uh, this was a joke years ago on your stream. Were you. You VIP'd someone for something. I forget what it was about. What does VIP actually do? Damn, I am not paying attention at all. You know how, like, when you stream, you go into autopilot sometimes? I am not skilled enough at this game I have been playing for 10 years, 12 years. Face it review, Tyler. Oh. Oh. I don't think VIP actually does anything. Ah, fuck you. <sighs> you give a person a very positive piss. A po is a positive piss one of those pisses that's like, like really, like a relief? Autopilot is the devil, oh my god, yeah. I can autopilot on Team Fortress 2, but I will not play well. The only game I can play well while autopiloting is Portal. It does nothing? Well, Womble told a good joke, so... <laughs> Do you put on VNN songs during sex? No, Electra gets to pick the music. It's my choice in music Electra just can't actually listen to because she's an epileptic and can't handle certain types of music. Real talk. Uh, I love like Holmes music, Synthwave, Vaporwave, that kind of stuff, right? I also love heavy metal stuff, like Mick Gordon Doom soundtrack-esque stuff. She can't, she literally can't listen to that stuff without possibly causing an aura. Do I like Death Grips? I've never really given them a chance, mostly just because as a person that's live streamed since fucking 2013, it's just like, there are certain things like that, that you know, you've heard so much of that you just like, I obviously am never going to listen to this. Like, yeah, I don't think a lot of people realize I have streamed on Twitch almost every week since 2013, right? And so my chat, I've gone through a lot. Death Grips is hard to digest as a streamer, exactly. You only receive it in its least serious form possible. Completely agree, yeah. Simple Flips is, is way more concise on that. When, by the way, I was talking to Electra about this. We were never really people that liked to travel, uh, you know, because it's expensive and because it's stressful, like air travel and stuff. Because of COVID, Electra and I have both agreed that we're going to go to like everything. Like everything. We are going to go to absolutely everything possible. TwitchCon, fucking RTX, too many game, every convention. We're just gonna go to all of them because we just want to. I think it's good, but if my exposure had to do with it being meme trash, no, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people know you because of shout outs to Simple Flips, right? Did you get your stimmy yet? No, because I paid my taxes on an account that got hacked, and so the account they have on file, they can't deposit it to, so I have to wait for a physical check to get mailed. But it's no big deal. You know, I am broke right now because the world sucks, and my YouTube revenue is, like, a third of what it used to be because of the rebrand. But it's fine because I know that, like, over time, the rebrand will be bigger, you know? It's just like, I would only think Death Grips was mean garbage if I didn't take the time to listen to it on my own. Exactly, exactly, yeah. That's true, but a lot of people only know that about me. Well, I found out about you because of, oh, I think I have a better idea from that stream from like five years ago, right? But then I also watched like a bunch of other stuff and then eventually became friends with you. 
But I guess not a whole lot of people have the, the privilege of being able to just like tweet at someone and be like, hey, do you want to be friends? I don't know. That's entirely fair, yeah. Yeah. No, the rebrand is actually going incredibly well. Money-wise, it's not making that it would- If I- like, obviously, it's not making what it would be making if I was making fucking TF2 videos all the time, right? But I would also want to die um, if I was only making Valve videos. Like, because Valve isn't doing anything publicly, there's a lot I could talk about, and I can't, like, legally talk about it right now, but Valve sucks. Valve's not a good company. I've learned that the absolute hardest way a person could learn that, and no, I'm not in legal trouble. But, oh god! So the rebrand is actually amazing for my mental health. Like, I have had more fun making content than ever before. Money be damned. Money be fucking damned. And that's why I hope, Eddie, I hope you're able to make Counter-Strike content, because I saw you were streaming CS. I hope that you're able to do what you want and not just always be, you know, wahoo, bing bing, man, for the rest of your creative content creation career. Because, uh, l literally, having the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want to do and know that people are going to watch it, oh my god. Oh my god. Because, like, look, you know, I'm obviously super interested in other PC game stuff. Effectively, pretty much everything that falls under the Microsoft umbrella now, which is a total coincidence that it ended up happening yes. that way. Yo, sir, Double D, with the brand new tier one sub. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. How many subs are we at? Oh, hold on. We're at 204. Thank you very much. Remember, Twitch Prime is free if you have it. Man, I'm doing terribly. It's never good to truly know your heroes. Completely agree. Completely agree. Gabe Newell's a figurehead. Valve is run by, like, six people that kind of pressure other people into doing the things that they actually want to do by holding employee evaluations over their head 100% of the time and claiming that they don't shell with the company if they don't listen. Mm -mm. Did Dunder... Did, did Dunder... Did Dota Underlords deserve to die? No, absolutely not. They had some really good ideas. When I think simple flips, I think Super Mario 64 speedrunner. And that's crazy because he hasn't, like, speedrun in years. <laughs> He's a Twitch streamer. You know? You still gonna make that Outer Worlds video? Well, they announced it. It's a long story. I'm gonna need questions, otherwise it's just gonna be, like, verbal diarrhea. So the only thing Valve is doing is Citadel? Yes. The only thing I think of with simple flips is Mario Maker. That's more current. Yeah. I think... That, uh, my friend from the West Coast that loves, you know, video games. Did your last Half-Life 2 playthrough get deleted? What? I don't know. I've been wanting to, like, redo my stream HUD, my stream VODs and stuff. I don't know. Uh, do Valve actually have managers, even if it's unofficial? It's, it's way more sinister and complicated than that. I don't know. I've been watching your YouTube content for a while now. I don't know why I hadn't subbed yet. I love the twirls. chill stream vibes, though. Love it. Thank you very much. Sinister? Pepe? Huh. <sighs> Do you think what Face It has done will bring a small revive to TF2? TF2 has the players. There's no need to revive it. It's just a safer place to play. That's all it is. Aren't Valve working on bringing Overwatch and Trust Factor to Team Fortress 2? Yes. But it's a very small group of people, and the only reason that's possible is because the people that still want to play and work on TF2 have been at Valve for, like, 20-plus years. And some of them are the most important people that work at Valve. I.e. Dario Casali. Like, if you're the guy 
that used to be on Team TNT shipped Plutonia and then helped ship every single Valve game since the company's inception and joined the team, like one of the first five people to join Valve, and you want to work on Team Fortress 2, no one is going to stop you. Do you know what I mean? Is Dario Casali one of the assholes? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. He's awesome. He is. He he understands his placement in the company, and kind of utilizes it to do interesting, weird things all the time. Dario is awesome. Dario is. By the way, just so that you know, Dario made the last chapter of Half Life Alex almost entirely by himself. He came up with all of that. Jeep really left, Jeep left. Jeep moved to Canada. Dario is... is a, Dario is... oof. Obviously he didn't like art pass it and stuff, right? But it... like the design of it was almost entirely him. Isn't Dave Riller also a very old employee? Yeah. He joined in 90 fucking 6. What's Adrian Fennell working on? Probably Citadel. I wish Valve had more employees to actually support their games. Yeah. Any info on Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah, the team that worked on The Last Stand is working on other stuff with Carrie Davis. They're doing more stuff. Can't believe Chris Remo left. I don't think he did, because I asked Mike Moraski if he left, and he said, I don't think so. Something weird might be going on, but probably no. Probably not. I only know these Valve household names because of you. I don't know if that's a good thing. Eddie, are you still here? Chris Remo didn't leave? I didn't think he did. According to Mike, it was an oversight. I figure once we start getting into, like, the inside baseball valve stuff, Eddie would leave, so... That's fair. So Jeep's the only one that left? No, I think other people left, because they removed Matt Wood's name from the list, and he left, like, two years ago, so... Do you know why the credits were changed in the art? I had no idea. No. Yeah, I think Zombie Master with a first person mode. And a whole bunch of different game types. And VR, PC crossplay. And a single player campaign. I should probably, like, pay attention. I just got a notification from Taco Bell. Do you think Face It could revive games like Quake Champions or Half-Life Deathmatch? Half-Life Deathmatch they probably could if they wanted to. Quake Champions I don't think supports custom servers, though. I should probably download the face it client. Just not right now. Yeah, I don't know. Valve is uh, not worth our time much anymore until they start releasing stuff. I mean, obviously it pays the bills, so I'm gonna make TF2 content, you know? But I'm not going to be doing, like, speculative future predicty type stuff anymore. Uh, ooh. For Valve, because they don't deserve it. Do you think the Composanto people are, are happy there? I don't know. Probably. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Mm. Face it. You should download the client. I'll leave. Yeah, I'm going to have to... We'll give you a timeout for one minute for that joke.
We're voting. We're doing harvest! We're doing harvest, everybody. <laughs> We're doing harvest. Your boy wins. We're doing harvest. It's the TF2 community, and this isn't official, so people are not going to be happy. People, like, I will make a video about this, and I am going to make a video about this, and people won't be happy. I could make a- I'm going to make a video about what's going on with the, uh, you know, the thing, you know? The, the, the fucking Creators TF event that we've been working on. They won't be happy. It's massive. It's bigger than any Valve up- single Valve update ever made. They won't care. It's not official. Heavy update when? I thought this was official. <laughs> Clickbait. I put it all over the place, but I don't know what you wanted. <laughs> What's going on with the CTF thing? It's almost done. They were play testing it a couple days ago. Damn, Tyler sounds disappointed about Valve. Yeah, I do, don't I? That's the robot one? What? Do you think in the Valley of Gods is dead for good? Yes. He betrayed Valve, he switched to Doom now? No, I just switched to everything. Like, lately I've been obsessed with Doom, but that's just kind of how my brain works. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I have episodes, like month-long episodes or, or multi-month-long episodes where I'm obsessed with something. And I will eventually have an episode where I'm obsessed with Valve, you know, specifically Half-Life cut content again. I know that that'll happen, and when that does happen, you're gonna get a bunch of content from me. But, like, the fact that the rebrand gives me the freedom to do whatever it is that I am most interested in in that time... It's hugely helpful. Why is the TF2 community so toxic yet loves itself? I don't think the TF2 community loves itself. I just think the TF2 community loves being unhappy. Getting deep. Make more id software stuff, Tyler? I'm gonna. Has CTF uh, at all been working with potatoes? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, there were some talks like last year, but as far as I know, I never heard it go any further than that. <clears throat> as far as I know, no. But I will say that I'm not involved with the development process anymore. I need a Lovecraftian Quake reboot. Yeah, everybody wants a Quake reboot, my man. It could happen. When is the Commander Keen reboot directed by Hugo Martin? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that would ever happen, to be honest. I don't know. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Are we going to get another super port in April? No, because Valve hasn't been in their offices for, like, a year. No soup. No soup for them. I don't know. I would so much rather see it make a brand new IP, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, make something completely wholly original. You know? Wouldn't that be dope? Like, make something completely new. But, you know. Blackjack and hookers. King doesn't deserve to be turned into a mobile game. Agree. And they canceled it. <clears throat> Look, Zenimax is not in charge anymore, right? So the direction of certain companies is going to change drastically over the next 12 months. You know? Wait, they canned it? Yeah, I heard they did. I might be wrong, but I remember they did. What if they made a new Keen game that's exclusive to Switch? That'd be perfect. That's a perfect fit. But it would have to be, like, a legitimate side-scroller Keen game. You know? 
that tried to do new crazy stuff with the side scroller. No, they can't. Yeah, I thought so. I'd love for it to make some double A games. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, they don't have to go all out. I mean, that's kind of what the Ancient Gods is, isn't it? They're like expansion packs. That doesn't really matter what's been Vogue. At, you know, in the past, you couldn't make something Vogue at any time. Just by making a good game and putting a good push behind it. What becomes of Zenimax now that Microsoft owns Bethesda? I don't know and I don't care. Do you think Obsidian will ever get to work on another Fallout game again? I think that's something Microsoft is interested in doing. But I also think that's not what's best for Obsidian. Obsidian does best when they're working within their own parameters, you know? I don't know. What will Arcane do after Deathloop? Well, there's two active Arcane studios, right? And Deathloop is Arcanely owned. We don't know what Arcane Austin has been working on. I would love for it to be Prey too, but... I don't know if Prey was big enough of a success to warrant a sequel. Is Game Pass ever coming to Steam? There's rumors of it, um, but nothing concrete. I saw an insane tweet from a games journalist that said Microsoft should cancel a Valve and make Obsidian work on The Elder Scrolls 6. Now I saw that. I saw that. Uh, and they also said they should cancel Grounded, cancel anything related to the Outer Worlds, cancel anything related to Avowed, and turn Obsidian into a Bethesda support studio. Ooh, wow, that boiled me. I did uh, that's a, that is a bad take, Chief. That's, that's, that is a terrible idea. That is such a bad idea. Honestly, wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Fuck off. Why? Why? Obsidian deserves better than that, guys. What the fuck? Obsidian should become the support studio for the Forza series. Completely agree. It's a great idea. Hey, we won. See what happens when you play on Harvest? Do you think we'll get more single-player DLC after Ancient Gods Part 2? No, and I think that's a bit much to expect. You know, I, we're definitely going to get more support on things like Battle Mode and Invasion and that kind of thing. But entirely new single-player expansions? No, I'd rather see them working on something new after that, you know? Time has come. You know, a whole year of active single-player support on a single-player game? Fucking nuts. Especially when the result is the kind of quality that you get with the Ancient Gods Part 1 and 2. It's like... Nice. Holy shit. Glitch Goat with the Tier 1 sub. Thank you very much. Ah, super cool of you. Remember, Twitch Prime is free, guys. No, Avowed is nothing like the Elder Scrolls, you know? It's the same thing, like, people went into the uh, the Outer Worlds expecting Fallout New Vegas in space, right? And that's kind of what you got, but a lot of people were disappointed because it wasn't exactly what they wanted. Let them have the freedom to create what they need to create, you know? You're welcome. Honestly, I just wanted to be able to talk here because you're saying a lot of interesting stuff. Fuck yeah, you don't need... We don't have sub-only chat, do we? Do we? Because that's not supposed to be on. No, I'm very excited to play the new Outer Worlds DLC. We're definitely going to play it. 
Anyways, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Skyrim is on Game Pass. That's right. And xCloud is now part of Game Pass. Microsoft is kicking ass. People think Obsidian is a shadow of Bethesda. Yeah, because of New Vegas. It's just like, fuck off, guys. Like, yeah, I love New Vegas just as much as you do, but I also really love Pillars of Eternity and Tyranny and the Outer Worlds. I don't really like Grounded, but I haven't really given it a chance lately. You want xCloud on PC? I'm sure it'll... I'm, I thought it was already browser-based, but whatevs. Nah, I mean, like, look, Phil Spencer and Gabe Newell were talking in that thing last year. So it's like, you know, is the conversation to bring in Game Pass to Steam something that has happened in the past? Yeah, probably. Would it be beneficial to Microsoft? Very much so, because no one likes the Universal Windows platform that much. Um... And I'm sure an agreement could be reached between Valve and Microsoft to do something like that because it would be beneficial to everyone. You would bring significantly more eyes on to, you know, xCloud and Game Pass. Wait, wait, wait. What's bring... Wait. Are you talking about xCloud? Or are you talking about coming to Steam? Grounded is the is the survival game where it's like honey, you shrunk the kids. Yeah, X Cloud. Okay. I mean, X Cloud works on the uh, mobile, which is nuts. It works really well. I did it. I've used it on my iPad, and it's really cool. Uh, the only problem I have with it is you you can't mod. It's like a console version of a game, you know. And so something like. You know, Oblivion or, or Skyrim isn't... Did you ever try GeForce Now? No, I haven't. You should? Why? GeForce Now is handy? What do you mean by that? You having fun so far? Hell yeah. Probably one of the best solutions. Xcloud works really, really well on my iPad, though, so I don't know. It broke Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV is not something I would be playing. Sorry. Yeah, meanwhile, Stadia. Ugh. Stadia. Play TF2 on PS3 today and people are still playing. I thought those were bots, but someone sent me a friend request. No, yeah. Yeah. It's like a time capsule. You play it the way it was in like 2008, before hats and shit. Eventually, I do expect Game Pass to increase in price because they are offering a fuck ton of stuff and they're doing the Netflix thing, you know? Yeah. 
you guys want to see my Mario video early? There are exploits, yeah. Turns out if you rename your character, uh, if, you're, if your account on Xbox Live is named a console command, it'll activate that console command. <laughs> That was found, like, a decade ago. So, if your name is SVCheats1, semicolon, no clip. What was that? Is that a face it feature? That's from Valve? You've never seen that? No. That's TF2 Universal. Oh. I've never heard that sound. I've seen it happen with other people's games. I've just never been... Impulse 101 doesn't work on TF2. You're playing in that. Hell yeah, Danny. I hope we can get a creators.tf shoutout one day. Yeah, they're effectively trying to just, like, get people subscribed to Game Pass so that they can increase the price when it's a better service down the road. Which is fine. That's the standard business practice. Shout out to Simple Flips. Shout out to my bud. Now, I will say, these servers are incredibly stable, and, I mean, we have not experienced a single problem. This is great. It's really, really good. Fuck Microsoft. In what way? Why? Lately, Microsoft has been kicking ass, so give us a, give us a reason. Because they haven't updated Halo 3? Agree. <laughs> to be honest, fuck Nintendo. Like, fuck Nintendo. They make good games, but they're an awful business. <laughs> fuck Nintendo. It is nice. always. Hey, uh. Yo, tier one sub, 14 months, 14 months streak from KR. Guess who? Yes, sir. Mm. Nintendo makes great games. They're an awful company. It is always morally correct to pirate Nintendo games. They offer an awful service. Overprice that service and give you absolutely no customer protections. They're awful. Like, I'm excited for Breath of the Wild 2. I'm excited for Mario Odyssey 2. I will buy a Super Switch. But fuck them. with your wallet? That's not a real thing. Fuck off. It's Nintendo. Vote and you can't vote with your wallet with Nintendo because they have sycophants that will t like no, you can't vote with your wallet with Nintendo. They're way too big for that to work. People are going to buy their shit regardless.
top 10 Nintendo cease and desists is something I'm working on. Yeah, it's like the Leopard and Two boycott. Yeah, exactly. They're just a bad company. They're never going to get better. You have to, you have to, be, you have to realize that they're never going to get better because they never need to. They will always be successful. The Left 4 Dead 2 boycott? Yeah, back in 2009, when Valve announced Left 4 Dead 2 so soon after Left 4 Dead 1 without making a Half-Life 3, a bunch of gamers boycotted the game, thinking that that would cause them to make a Half-Life 3. True story! The fact that you didn't know that means I might make a video on it. It only took him 11 years. Yeah. No, Nintendo fanboys are fucking nuts, man. Oof. And I love certain Nintendo franchises a lot. Like the like the mainline 3D Mario games. Are you fucking kidding me? Those are some of the best games ever made. Legend of Zelda, some of the best games ever made. Metroid, some of the best games ever made. Right? Obviously. The company, though? Awful. Fucking terrible. Stalking people who learn how to homebrew your consoles? Are you kidding me? Shutting down community projects that you could literally hire from and make millions from? Are you kidding me? Regard for game preser- like having the best back catalog of video games in the entire industry and being the absolute worst for preservation? Mmm. Uh, 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 an exclusivity hold on your market to the point where games never drop in value ever? Mm -mm. Oh, Valve sucks, but they suck in their own unique way. They're very different in how they suck. Breath of the Wild is still $60, and it, until they do, like, the, the select series at the end of the Switch's life cycle... Yeah. No Metroid Prime 4 news? It's because it's only bad news. The game is not doing well. To be honest, I don't think it'll ever come out. Same with Bayo 3. change your account name on Steam yet? I don't think so, but you can change your, your forward-facing profile name. What's happening with Bayonetta anyway? Uh, the director of the Bayonetta series said that he wishes that people would just forget that they made that announcement. <laughs> publicly. Publicly. He said that publicly. Have you heard of Pre-Fortress? I made a video on it last year, and I'm planning on making a video of their new update in a fun way pretty soon. The video game industry sucks. They're not gonna stop doing consoles. Nah, no, no, no. They control their ecosystem. They would never stop doing that as long as it remains financially viable. And the Switch is doing insanely well. Does it work good? Does what work good? This? Oh, face, it's f fantastic. This is amazing. This is the best way to play TF2 casual right now. You want to play a clean game of casual? Play this. This is great. There's actually rewards, too, like legitimate rewards. You can unlock Australiums. They just have, like, a backlog of Australiums that you can win by playing. Will Nintendo do more limited-time games? Yes, they're doing Disney Vault bullshit. Yes, 
Even though their idea of a limited time, yeah, like, yeah, it's a long story. While flooded with casual people, it's still fun. You expected this to be like sixes? Boy, if you wanted this to have the same kind of like sweating attitude as sixes, then you don't know. Fuck that. That's not how you're gonna. No. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. Yeah, what's the Mario thing anyway? I'll show you at the end of this uh, game. When the server shuts down, I'll show you. Ah! Sixes is not an ideal format for TF2. I agree, but if you say that to the wrong crowd, oh boy, you get indoxed. Turn on voice and you'll see it's pretty sweaty. Well, don't and don't use voice. <laughs> Who uses voice? TF2 fans are the worst. They really are. I'm currently tempted to sell my 3080 because it's currently worth a thousand dollars more than what I paid for it. Do it because when the crypto crash happens, oh boy, those are gonna be cheap as fuck. I'm waiting for it. No, dude, when the crypto crash happens, I'm SLI in 3080s. Fuck it. 3090. Fuck it. Are you excited for RE8? I've never played any of them. TF2 fans getting ready for a day of spamming slurs in game chat. That's why I have game chat turned off. Couldn't Australians have, from face it, potentially have a bad impact on MVM tours? I mean, yeah, but MVM tours are so fucking old at this point. There's gonna be another small TF2 patch within, like, a month. Which will be fun. TF2 player is getting ready to tell me to kill myself because I have a sniper called Trans Rights. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's... oof. No, not the Overwatch update. We're not, we're not ready for that yet. SLI is dead. No point in buying more than one card. Yeah, but I just want two cards, you know? There's like a backup. Also, SLI works in some games, kinda. A spring cosmetic case soon, yeah. Yeah. That's stupid, don't buy two cards. Fine, I won't buy two cards. But I will go for a 3090 when the crypto crash happens. Kai is engineer gaming, please laugh. Would you love someday to interview the creator of Dusk? I know Zamansky. And yeah, I'm getting an Oshri interview soon. Me and him have been talking about it for a while. And the next episode of the New Blood podcast I'm going to be on. Yeah, I'm friends with the New Blood guys. Can you explain the crypto crash? It's just n inevitable. Like, it's inevitable. It happened before, it'll happen again. Back in 2018, after the first crypto boom, there was a crash in, 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 in prices, and that caused everybody to start selling off their hardware that they used to mine. And you could get like a 1080 for like $300 back when they were much, much more expensive than that. Last spring case was the blue moon. Was it? I thought blue moon was like 2018. Is Hallshelf the go-to composer for it now? I don't know. But yeah, as long as you got Dario on TF2, which you do, because he has a secret YouTube channel where he updates. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm not gonna, like, like really, like, put him on blast there, because he'll stop doing it. But... No, Blue Moon was the competitive stuff that was cut from Jungle Inferno. Jungle Inferno launched the day I got engaged, October 20th, uh, 2017. Uh, so yeah, it was 2018. 
yeah, you've got people legitimately working on TF2 right now. And really, really d direct proof of it, too. Uh, but it's not something that I want to put on blast because it'll cause everything to fall apart. So do your own research on that. Got a dip. Thanks for hanging out, Glitch Goat. Thanks for the sub. You're telling me that your engagement killed TF2? Yeah. Yeah. Me and my wife killed TF2 by showing our love for each other. Has Valve given up on Source 2 for good? No. They've given up on Artifact and Underlords. Good stream. Thank you, Nick. How's your girlfriend so far? Wife, first of all. And she's doing great. You gotta remember, my girlfriend is actually quite sick almost all the time. Uh, my girlfriend, Electra. She uh, has epilepsy. She has celiac disease. Um, you know, she's very hypersensitive to certain chemicals and stuff. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of precautions that you need to take with stuff. What is that disease? What is what? Celiacs? Uh, severe adverse reactions to gluten. So she has to be gluten free. Like, if she keeps eating gluten, she can get like, like super duper sick later down the line. Yo. First face eat impressions. Love it. This is fantastic. Thank you very much for the six bucks, though. Exclamation point. Donate in the chat. Send your own. We do have a donation goal, which could really help me out if we hit it. Uh, we also have a means for you to send me uh, Steam items, like TF2 weapons and CSGO weapons and stuff. Exclamation point trade in the chat. You can also join our Discord server with exclamation point Discord in the chat, where you can get updates on live streams and videos and video productions and that kind of thing. So thank you very much for hanging out. I'm Tyler, this is, I'm Tyler McVicker. This is the Tyler McVicker channel. I hope you're having a good day. We're going to keep hanging out for a while. I will... Uh, preview my next video a little bit after this server closes out and we need to queue again. Um, my next video is called What Would Super Mario Odyssey 2 Look Like? I just need to do overlays and it could come out today if my overlays get done quick enough. Who is Dario Casales? Uh, his name is Dario Casali um, and he and his brother um, were Team TNT, the Casali brothers, uh, who worked with John Romero to produce the Plutonia project. Plutonia, uh, for Final Doom back in the mid 90s. Uh, they then made a lot of Doom mods and Quake mods and stuff throughout the 90s until Dario specifically um, became one of the very first people to ever join Gabe Newell's Valve software back in late 1996, early 97, where he worked there and continues to work there to this day. Um, and uh, he is the lifeblood right now for uh, Team Fortress 2. He also, you know, is the main creator, or if not the creator, behind the manpower game mode in Team Fortress 2. He is also um, the person that made almost the entirety of the design of the final chapter of Half-Life Alex. Um, and he's done many, many, many other things in his career at Valve. Uh, he's awesome. Why is the blur gone? What are you talking about? Why is the blur back? I don't know, I felt like bringing it back. All right, I'm gonna let you watch my next video while we queue for the next match. We're well, not the whole thing. And plus, this is the Patreon cut, uh, which means overlays and visuals are temporary. As covered extensively in my previous report on Breath of the Wild 2, Nintendo has displayed a pattern of reusing game engines and cut content to create larger, more efficient sequels like Mario Galaxy 2, Majora's Mask, or hell, even Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. Nintendo is a business, and saving time saves money. So it's no wonder that the idea of a follow-up to 2017's Super Mario Odyssey has been so prevalent over the last few years. We're queuing, Mix that by with the NVIDIA way. ceasing production of the Nintendo Switch's SoC, the Tegra X1, literally forcing Nintendo to create a mid-generational 
special upgrade to the Switch, a topic we covered in detail last month, and you have the perfect situation for a new Mario game that not only reuses the ideas and engine of Odyssey, but also reuses some of the cut concepts along with some new ideas that we've actually already seen. A follow-up to Mario Odyssey is obviously on its way, so let's figure out exactly what it will bring. Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to say that I have been streaming on Twitch for seven years now, and I do believe it deserves more attention. Check out my Twitch page down in the description below. We play all the games that we cover on this channel, plus many more. Hang out, discuss the news live as it happens sometimes, and just have a really relaxing kind of evening most days. You can also find information on all the work that I produce, plus talk with me directly every day, and you can support- I'm checking the Twitch page right now. This kind of difficult time on my Patreon or by buying some merch. We have the missing texture mask, which is a favorite of everyone, and a few other things that we're working on for the spring. Anyways, the sequel likely started as concepts for DLC, like how Breath of the Wild 2 and Super Mario Galaxy 2 started. Okay, I'm gonna Super skip the real important bit. Parting phase. Uh, selection of these could be seen in the Arno game has the ability to inspire some future Nintendo games. Some of the concepts cut from the final game range from entire gameplay set pieces to small ideas that never made it out of the arting face. Uh, selection of these could be seen in the art of Super Mario Odyssey, a Dark Horse published book from 2019 showcasing hundreds of concept pieces that led to the development of the title. Somehow, many of the kingdoms follow their concepts closely. However, others, such as the Cap, Mushroom, and Metro Kingdom, all have uncharacteristically different concepts that could easily be reused in another game. This, mixed with other notable concepts, such as woolly mammoths, giant capture points blocking the way, an old English-style kingdom, a picture book-esque kingdom reminiscent of Spyro the Dragon, the ancient Koopa's enemies, an odyssey We're that can transform queuing. into an ATV or a ship, a much larger scaled cloud kingdom, the 8-bit concept being taken further, such as a CRT filter over the entire play area, or an entire kingdom of 8-foot NPCs, an explorable ice castle, a ghost ship wrecked off the coast of an ocean kingdom, the entirety of Toad Town built on the outskirts of the Mushroom Kingdom, a a secret magical forest found deep within the mushroom kingdom woods and cats all of these concepts and many more okay so um what you're actually seeing here is a really difficult like line uh, like a series of events that i had to go through to make that happen so i own the art of super mario odyssey physically i wasn't going to scan it so i bought an ebook version on kindle you can't convert that to pdf you can extract the pictures from it so I open it on my iPad and take as large screenshots as I could on the iPad and crop out the pictures I wanted. I then put those screenshot, those crop screenshots into Gigapixel and try to AI upscale them as best as I can. So what you're actually looking at there are iPad screenshots that have been AI upscaled of the ebook while reading them in the Kindle app. That took forever. That took me a long time to do. <laughs> All right, so we're still queuing. Uh, and the rest of the video is a lot of easy overlays, so I might be able to get that done today. Damn, you're dedicated as hell. Thanks. I tried to find a PDF on the internet. Couldn't. I think I've already given out my 10 private... Oh, there we go. Nice. Yo! Project gifted a sub to Art1KO, tier one sub. Thank you very much. Do you have any insight to the situation with the sinking city? No. I don't even know what that is. You still didn't clear the All-Stars thing? The what? What's the All-Stars thing? I keep getting ke Team Captain, man. Why do I keep getting Team Captain? Alright, whatever. Alright, we're voting. Ah, Harvest was the first one you dropped! Fine, drop upward, fuck it. Do 
You want premium? I do? I didn't pay for premium. Dude, I'm trying to get two four or turbine. Nice. Whoa, Vico's son with the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Nice. <laughs> two four or dust bowl. We're probably nice. doing dust bowl, right? This is what happens when you let me pick the the, the <laughs> yeah we're playing Dust Bowl. Nice. That's pretty funny. I'm trying to play Face It, but I don't have permission. Yeah, you gotta. Be, it's a closed beta right now. You have to what? be invited. Yo. Yo, man. Last game was super close. You're damn good. Fan of the content and had to drop a visit. Wish you luck with future matches. Yo, thank you very much. I'm not good, but I appreciate it. It's in beta right now, comes out fully next week. The map selection is interesting. TF fans are never happy! Can we get some TF fans are never happy in chat? Maps will be on rotation. Good. Will there be custom maps? Like, will you add non-official maps into the rotation? Like, like good ones? Bruh, but Dust Bowl's like a one-hour map, so... You like Team Fortress 2, don't you want to play for an hour? TF community has so much variation, it's insane. Some of us are nice people, I promise. No, I know, there are nice people, but on app, like if you average it all out, they're bad people. Like this group, like this watching right now, for the most part, I'd assume are nice people because they put up with me saying piss and shit and tax the rich and all that shit. So it's like, you know, whatever. Is Face It TF2 coming to Asia? I don't actually work for Face It. They just gave me access. I, 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 I'm now realizing that I'm like on the front page or something. But no, I don't actually work for Face It. We have super bad outliers that decline the average. Yeah. Boink. We're not at 500 views, we're at 400 views. We're at 407. My first ever TF2 match back, and the chat was just constant racial slurs, and none of them are bots. Oh, okay, my view counts uh, wrong. Yeah, follow, if you're new to the channel, follow, please. I don't get this kind of view count normally. And I deserve it! Okay, Grandpa. I'm 24, I'm not that old. You're handling it pretty well, engaging with most people. That's how I normally stream, though. Boomer? Tyler's a lefty boomer at heart. I'm a leftist, man. I've been very open about being a leftist. There should be no such thing as a millionaire. Fuck you. So we're playing Black Mesa today, and the graphics are crazy! Damn, how long have you been around 12 PLL? Mm. 
Millionaire, maybe billionaire is stupid. Yeah, and we can argue about that all we want. Like, I'm fine having a conversation over, okay, can you have millionaires? Billion, like, billion, come on. Billion? Billion. Really? You need a billion dollars. If I make four grand in a month, I think I am king of the fucking world. Billion? Really? How do you feel about Gabe Newell and his billions? He doesn't deserve it. Gabe Newell's a dickhead. Gabe Newell's not cool. I don't know. I guess I just, I have a lot of experience with those people. They're not great people. <laughs> They're just not great people. Uh. My spec, oh, I don't have that command anymore. Uh, I'm running a 2080. Uh, a 3900X overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz on air. 64 gigs of RAM. DDR4 3200. Pretty good. Pretty good. He was a millionaire before he started Valve. Keep that in mind. He was he was very very wealthy before he started Valve. On air. Yeah, he was one of the first Microsoft like his family was well off. He was one of the first. Yeah. He's not self-made in the way that you think he was. He was, he was a, an OS developer at Microsoft in the late 80s, early 90s. He dropped out of Harvard because somebody like high up at Microsoft asked him to. Yay! Very few billionaires are self-made, yeah. Do you ever like... Do you ever just like want pizza? Do you think John Carmack still eats a pizza every day? I'm reading through Masters of Doom again. Um, Masters of Doom is a, such a phenomenal fucking book. Uh, Masters of Doom is being turned into an HBO miniseries, by the way. Um, which I'm actually excited for. I think that ac that actually would be kind of good. Yeah. Masters of Doom tells the story of John Carmack and, and, and John Romero and how they, you know, formed it, where they came from. And um, John Carmack thinks pizza is the most perfect food invention ever because it's a mixture of many food groups, cheap, hot, and easy to make. And during the development of uh, the Doom engine and the Quake engine, uh, the same Domino's guy would come and deliver him multiple pizzas, medium cheese pizzas, a day. And to this day, the Domino's in Texas still gives him the 1994 prices. I used to be told that Carmack was an asshole. A lot. I used to be told that Carmack was a terrible person to work with. Um by people that worked with him. And I completely think that that's probably the case. <laughs> but he also seems like such a, just like an enigma, man. Like, like, okay, so a story that I heard from Jerry Ellsworth of Tilt 5 was that when he showed Carmack some of the earliest Valve VR prototypes when she was at Valve, he got mad because he thought motion controllers were not going to happen in VR. And in fact, the future of VR was sitting on a couch with an Xbox controller. That's why the Oculus shipped with an Xbox One controller and the Vive shipped with the wands. No, that's completely true. Yeah, and he made, like, a stink about it, too.
But I will say, the thing that I love about Carmack is how he's like hugely on the stance of you need to open source all your software, you need to let other people build off of your work, you should never patent software. Carmack is working on a lot of AI stuff, machine learning, all that stuff. Uh, but he's still a consultant CTO for Oculus, and he's still very much, he's, during his last Oculus Connect, or Facebook Connect, or whatever, fuck Facebook, but Carmack's cool. During his last Connect, he talked about how he's very pleased with Quest 2. And that now he finally sees that the future of VR is starting to unfold in front of us. Which is awesome to hear from someone like Carmack. Gold source is never going to be open sourced, but you do have um, Zash, which is a reverse engineered project, so that's pretty much all you're going to get. Playing Half Life Alex on a budget, what's the best system? It'd be the Quest 2. Quest 2 is $300 if you can get the 64 gig model, and then you can wirelessly stream it or you can use a USB cable to link it. Like, just Quest 2. I'm going to recommend Quest 2 to every single person that asks me what VR system they should get. Unless money isn't an option, in which case you should get a quest too. <laughs> Mission begins in 10 seconds. Because you're never gonna get an index. You're never gonna get an index. I have a Valve index, I never use it anymore. Because Valve doesn't support it the way they should. The quest, Oculus, Facebook just put 10,000 people on VR development. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Facebook just put a third of their company on VR AR development. That is 10,000 people. Valve is 300 people and only like two thirds of the company believe in VR. Buy a quest. <laughs> if you want. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking hate Facebook. I hate everything they stand for, but oh my god, the Quest 2 is so good. It's so good, dude. It's so good. The Quest 2 is such a cool piece of hardware. There's like three people working on Steam VR. Everybody's working on games. No one is working on fucking, you know, their baseline software. They're just not, and it's awful. And then you have people that were like monumental to Steam VR being very fed up with the way things are going. No names, just games. But I've seen some chat logs. I've heard some shit. Even Valve themselves sees the writing on the wall. HTC wasn't teasing a headset, they were teasing new trackers that are more expensive than the old trackers, and also a fucking camera that tracks your lips like the AR kit shit from, from Apple, but worse. H HTC is a nothing company, never buy their products, HTC fucking sucks. Would you rather Valve be bought out by Microsoft? No. All right, I feel good. It'll never happen. But there's just way too much fucking up lately. I've been considering selling my Rift S and getting a Quest 2. What do you think? You should do it. And do it soon because the Rift S is going to drop in value when they stop supporting the PC side of things. Wasn't Microsoft trying to buy them at one point? That's had, they've offered like every year for years. Yeah. All right. No, good. Steam is too big. Completely agree. It never happened. Completely agree. But the game, like, split Steam off into its own company, man. Just split Steam off into its own fucking company. And then let somebody else be in charge of the game development studio stuff. Let Gabe keep Steam. And then let the people that want to make games be their own fucking company. Never, it would never happen. But just imagine if it did.
I mean, Gabe's opened his own BCI company, so I don't see why you couldn't just open a fucking, you know? Who would be capable of countering Facebook and VR? Microsoft, Apple, Google, not Valve. You're gonna get competition in the next few years, especially from Apple. This is a cool, chill stream, love it as always. Good job, Tyler. Thank you. Follow if you're new. Exclamation point, trade in the chat, send me some Steam items. Exclamation point, donate in the chat, help me pay my bills. Exclamation point, Discord in the chat, join the Discord. BCI stands for Big Cock Initiative. That's exactly what it stands for. Gabe Newell has the biggest cock in the world. This stream is too chill, let's see some rage. I'm getting a little salty about Valve and Facebook and all that. Six inches wide. Cave Newell's cock is as as wide as mine is long. I'm gonna open my own VG. You're gonna open a VCR repair shop? Holy shit, me too. Oh, I know you. I follow you on Twitch, on, on Twitter. Do we have a trade offer? Yes, we do. No. Next motion, we're trading the chat. You've met Gaben. Is he a nice man? No, of fucking course he's not. He's weird. I've met Gabe twice. And it was so weird seeing the press people the first time I met him just fall over him. Just like, okay, all right, I'm Valve News Network, but I'm not sucking his dick this hard. My God. To be honest, I was not that excited to interview Gabe. I was way more excited to interview someone like Dave Riller or Joe Ludwig or Ida McGall. Like, the people actually making fucking games? Wasn't Gabe messing with a pen during your interview with him? The whole time. Yes. The whole... It was like a two-hour interview. We were just flipping a pen the whole fucking time. Like, he was only, like, half there. Dave Riller's amazing. Holy shit. Dave Riller is so fucking nice. And that's the problem. There are very, very nice people at Valve. Some people at Valve are some of the, like, I have interacted with some people at Valve that are just the absolute nicest fucking people, right? Dave Riller is one of them. Dario Casali's another one. Ironically, the TF2 people. Jill is okay. I've not really interacted with Jill that much. Eric Smith, super nice. What? Paying the bills and some music. Fuck yeah, no to $10. We actually have that stuff turned off. Is Robin Walker nice? Of fucking course he is. There are some people that aren't as nice, like they're lawyers. But that's kind of what you fucking expect from lawyers. We actually have Media Share turned off this stream. Sorry. Oh, and Jamal Bradley is the coolest fucking person at Valve. Like, no fuck, like, holy shit. Yeah, there's a lot of problems at Valve that would be considered legally slanderous that I can't talk about. Will one day. I almost feel like, you know how Dave Chappelle had all that to shit to say about Comedy Central and it took him like 20 years? <laughs> I kind of feel like that. No, it is very tempting to share, yeah. No, the, the Half-Life 2 developers reacting to that speedrun is amazing. Because you're dealing with cool people. Robin Walker and, and, and Adrian Fanal, right? Those are cool people! But the Valve entity is the problem. Like, the, like, the... I don't know. It's hard to explain. And I'm not Valve News Network anymore, so I don't have to fucking explain it. I'm allowed to have my own opinions and shit. I'm not a news network. I'm a guy. Hi. No, it is very tempting to share, but I also want to have a career. Hi. Right. Well, feel good. 
Hi, it's me, a guy. If you're a news network, hello! <laughs> yeah, so if you've ever heard the meme, if you're a woman, hello, press one if you have heard the meme, if you're a woman, hello. Yeah. Okay. So, there's this chat log that's all over the internet, you could find it if you look for it, of me talking to an anonymous Valve employee that calls himself Cephalon. The time has shown that this person was telling the legitimate truth over the last six years, or four years, or five years, or however long it's been since I've talked to this person. It's super weird that I'm comfortable talking about Cephalon publicly. Cephalon was the very first Valve employee that ever was just open with me and leaked a bunch of shit. Obviously, it's happened many times, dozens of times after that in the years following, but this was like October of 2016, and this guy just messages me out of nowhere and just goes absolutely hog wild answering questions. And bits and pieces of what he said became true, and we now know that this person was telling the truth. Have they left out? I don't fucking know. I never knew who Cephalon was. Yeah, he's the one that originally told me about the mechanical arm Half-Life 3, Morocco, Left 4 Dead 3, all that stuff. We might want to vote scramble. Um, hey Norman. Do you want to see my cat? I can't lift you up because you just had surgery, but say hello to Norman, everybody. Let me make it full screen. Hold up. Oh, where'd you go? Norman! Hey, bud. Norman, hey. Norman's our newest rescue. Norman's our newest rescue. We found him on the side of the road. Electra and I were taking a walk through the neighborhood and this fucker right, I gotta stop swearing. This guy, Norman here, just followed us home. I'm sorry, buddy, you can't be on the desk right now. Like, he was cold, he was, he was like, limping and shit. And he, his fur was all fucked. Um, and so we, he just followed us. He legitimately wouldn't stop following me. He hangs, he, and he's my cat. He hangs out with me all the time. And, um, yeah. He just followed us home. Like, he just rubbed up against me and just decided, like, I'm his person. Norman likes to hang out on the desk while I'm working, but when I'm streaming, there's no room for him because of the microphone. Yeah, Norman's awesome. We just got him uh, neutered uh, like two days ago, so he's still a bit sore. All right, we're gonna play another round. Remember, exclamation point, donate in the chat. If you wanna send me some money, exclamation point, trade in the chat. If you wanna be able to send me Steam items, Next, make sure what Discord in the chat. You can, um, you know, do stuff or whatever. Is Face It enjoyable? Super clean Team Fortress 2 experience, yes. <laughs> How long are Face It time queues? Right now they're a little long, but that's because it's in a closed beta with only like a few hundred people playing it, uh, which is, you know, when it's open to the public next week, you know. It's free? It's free. And apparently you can earn Australians by playing. All right. And you guys can add me on Faceit. I'm Valve News Net on Faceit. I don't know if I can change my account name. I mean, we have some mods here. If you guys could like change it to Tyler McVicker for me, that'd be awesome. It takes a long time if you don't have premium. I think I was given premium for free. Because I did not pay for premium. Alright, we're voting. And I'm, because I'm captain, I am purposely dropping. Alright, two fort harvest turbine, what are we playing? <laughs> we're playing two fort. We're playing two fort. <laughs> Let's go. We're playing two fort. 
<laughs> this is the match that I am going to record for footage. Can I change the team name? No. Why can't I change team name? What's the tick rate on the servers? I don't know, what is the tick rate on the servers? It's face it, so probably high. The health and ammo are missing for the first life. That is weird. I hope the tick rate is low. I'm allergic to ticks. Uh, and then this might not be the thing for you. Did you watch the teaser already? Yes, but I'm not going to get in trouble with it. Well, I know that Mike Moraski, as far as he is aware, still works at Valve, so... There could be some weird fuckery going on. That, that would suck. But probably not. Official Valve servers are like 66 tick, yeah. G Barnett did quit. G Barnett is no longer at Valve, that is true. I wonder if that has anything to do with his his love of artifact. Because Reinhardt doesn't work at Valve either. They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you. You will be worse. Rip and tear. Until it is done. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, I have located a priest signal. I have marked its location on your HUD. How do custom hit sounds work? Like any other add-on. working on the comic. I've already said that, yeah. You're gonna have some cosmetic cases. You're gonna have some map updates. You might have one spring cleaning balance fix update thing. And that's it. What were the portal VR prototypes like? I can't say. I can't tell you. Do you want me to get people in trouble? Like the one Powerhouse got? Yeah. What are the chances of a new quake coming? Tyler is talking about sex with your mom. I'm not. Catch this. 
Move. Smell. Trying to jump. Who's your favorite waifu? Piper from Fall Four. Good take, thank you. I love me a good journalist. Wait, is that out of bounds? Or is that down in the sewers? What about from anime? Um... What the hell? Why? What the hell is going on here? Would you have sex with Uncle Dane? No, probably not. Anime waifu. I don't really have one. Not that I can think of. I definitely have waifus from video games, but I, I don't know, like, Piper Wright. Oh, um, Jimmy Neutron's mom. Judy Neutron. Ooh, Timmy's mom, though. You're right. You know, I picked Timmy's mom. You're right. I picked Timmy's mom. Timmy's versus Jimmy's, Timmy's. You're right. Someone VIP him. I am ZM, VI VIP. That's the right take. Do you think Face It is gonna kill Creators at TF? Nope. She's 2D though. So? Danny's mom weak? Agree. I'm not messing with Danny's mom. Have you seen Danny's dad? That guy is a unit. My mom's fine. 36 Raiders from Seabird Betty have joined. Hello, Raiders. I'm Tyler McVicker. Is Face It something they're actually going to implement, or is it just a community server thing? Does it matter? If you can play it for free, regardless, does it matter? Fort's so good, why isn't there three fort? It's a great question. I don't know. That is such a good good fucking question, man. Damn it! Nah, he was behind me. Fuck. And the four fort exists. Dust bowl, why not water bowl? Why not sand bowl? Why not Blood Bowl?
What about good water? What about harvested? After the harvest. Oh. It's tied. Okay. Someone should remake Harvest using Doom assets? Holy shit. Of all the maps to remake Doom style, Harvest would be a real pain. Why is that? What? What? Hey, Tyler. Yo. What did you think about how in the last Call of Duty you could play as a non binary character? I was really excited to have Ronald Reagan refer to me as they slashed them as he ordered me to smuggle crack into the inner cities. Love, you know him well. I'm not going to dignify that with a response, but trans rights, non binary rights. But fuck Reagan. Yeah, fuck Reagan. That's fine. <laughs> fuck. Hold up. Yeah, thanks, Doc. is mega cringe. War is mega cringe. Uh oh. Huh. Well, that's too bad. Nice going, Tex. Deserve a medal, Dick. All right, 
All right, I feel good. Oh, that's nice. Hey, maybe if I made a friggin' shot. You deserve a medal, cock. Mario dies in 20 days. Oh, shit. It's sooner than that. It's the 13th. He dies in 18 days. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Good. Boo Bear is here. Hi, Boo Bear. We were just talking about how fucking cool you are. Boo Bear, show everybody how cute you look right now. What the hell? What? You cheating on me, big boy? All right, I think that's enough Face It for today. I had a lot of fun. Um, thank you to Face It for letting me play that stuff early and featuring me on the front page of their website. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to get my Mario video done and uh, start work on the Doom video and the TF2 grenade video. And I love you guys. Peace and hair grease. Talk to y'all later. Thanks a bunch. Bye.